Thank you for viewing Western Digital's Knowledge Base tutorial. In this tutorial, we will review network configurations that may increase and decrease file transfer performance. This tutorial explains how to optimize the transfer of large files to or from a WD My Cloud device. There are several things that can cause slow transfer rates on your network. Some of the more common issues are your computer may not have a gigabit Ethernet adapter installed, your Ethernet switch does not support gigabit Ethernet, or your antivirus firewall software may be affecting the file transfer. To improve the transfer rate of large files, we would recommend using the gigabit Ethernet standard. If you have a desktop computer, you can install an internal gigabit Ethernet card, or you can try using a notebook computer with gigabit Ethernet capabilities, or possibly upgrading the network switch to a gigabit Ethernet switch. Next, we will review five examples of optimal configuration for network drives such as MyBook Live or the WD My Cloud. For our first example, you may install a Gigabit Ethernet card in a personal computer with an internal SATA drive to directly connect a network drive to the personal computer. For the next example, if you're using a router with an internal Gigabit Ethernet switch, connect the router to both the personal computer that contains the Gigabit Network Interface card and the network drive. Or, if you are using a router with a 10100 switch, connect the router to a Gigabit Ethernet switch and connect both the personal computer and network drive to the Gigabit Ethernet switch. It's okay to connect the 10100 Base T router to a Gigabit Ethernet switch as long as all Gigabit Ethernet devices are connected to the Gigabit Ethernet switch. Be sure to do the following. Upgrade to a Gigabit Ethernet router. Test the drive performance with antivirus and firewall turned off, and if that doesn't work, you can try a different antivirus firewall application. Additionally, if you are using a USB 3.0 external drive, the optimal configuration is to connect the router with the 10100 switch to the Gigabit Ethernet switch and connect both your personal computer and network drive to the Gigabit Ethernet switch. The USB 3.0 external drive should be connected to your personal computer. The maximum performance with a 10100 Base T network interface card, switch, or router in the data path is about 10 megabytes per second or less. Also, CAT6 Ethernet cables are preferred for long connections. And for our final example, if you are using WD LiveWire with a WD TV, connect to a router containing a Gigabit Ethernet switch to the personal computer and ensure the network drive is directly connected to the router and personal computer connection. Now that we've reviewed optimal configurations, we'll take a look at four common configurations which are not ideal for transferring large files. For a personal computer connected to a network drive, do not use a router with a 10100 switch. Or, if you're using a router with a 10100 switch connected on a separate gigabit ethernet switch, do not connect the personal computer directly to the router. We do not recommend that you attach a USB 2.0 external drive to your personal computer as the USB 2.0 external drive will perform slower and limit your performance over a network. Our last example of non-optimal configuration is connecting LiveWire to a network drive without connecting the network drive directly to the router and personal computer connections. Remember to use the Gigabit Ethernet standard and the configurations we have recommended to improve the performance of transferring large files on your network. 